this context of environmental and climate-related shocks. Question. And I think I'll just pick up where, where in fact the comments from, uh, from, from all the panelists have, have led us towards. So I guess um, UNICEF, we have the uh, overall global investment in the country we work with, the we've talked about specifically uh, in social services. You, we've just talked about the importance of investing in social, social services to allow uh, children and enable children to adapt to the changing climate. And I'll give you a few very quick examples. Um, in the water sector, for example, we've been uh, working for many years with a quite an innovative revolving fund that will uh, that allows poor families to borrow a very small amount of, uh, of money from a pot, uh, which allows them to fund the water connection, which is uh, which has to be funded by the household from the infrastructure that has been put in into the into the town. In fact, Kaya Karima is, uh, is a great uh, is a great partner there because Kaya Karima is, is ensuring that the basic infrastructure is there, and then we're supporting the poorest households to uh, to connect to water, which is their their right, and it's uh, extremely important for their families. Um, another example, actually, that's coming is uh, our investment with the with the Ministry of Health. Uh, we, we talk about uh, the primary healthcare system. That's where UNICEF uh, yeah, spends a lot of uh, resources that provides a lot of technical expertise. We know that the Ministry of Health and the uh, National uh, Universal Health Coverage uh, is moving forward. We want to make sure that the primary healthcare system is ready for that, and we support the Ministry with that work. But we are, we are providing a sort of modeling of uh, how to do that in a green, smart way. So the, the infrastructure or the light infrastructure support to the primary healthcare system will include more green technology uh, going forward. In the education uh, system, you mentioned it, Minister. Uh, in fact, in August, we, we worked with the Ministry of Education. We launched uh, the sort of uh, tweak to the primary school curri curriculum, which includes now a component on climate change. And then just to give you the scale, the ministry then uh, uh, trained three.